Hello and welcome to Pageant Planet Live. I'm Stephanie McGreen and I'm so excited to have the beautiful Nia Sanchez, Miss USA, joining me. Welcome, Nia. Hi, I'm glad to be here. How are you? I'm so excited to have you with me and I have to say congratulations to you on doing such an amazing job at Miss Universe. Thank you so much. I had so much fun and I'm definitely very proud. I feel like I did as good as I could except for one place further, but <laughs> as good as I could for the time. Well, you were amazing. Now, at the Pageant Planet, we want to know what it takes to win the Miss USA crown. So tell us how you went about choosing your evening gown and how did you know it was the one for you? My Miss USA evening gown. So I had a few options and up until the last minute I was between the two. I was in love with my Sherry Hill and I was in love with my Michael Costello but once I kind of got towards the end I wanted to do something different. I feel like Michael Costello hasn't really ever been worn on the pageant stage and definitely like that type of design was just something that wasn't so typical. So I went with that one since I loved it so much and even beforehand when we were picking it out in the showroom I knew that it was a dress that I could see myself getting crowned in. It's kind of like a wedding dress when you have the moment when you know it was kind of the same thing with the pageant gown. Well you definitely looked stunning. Oh my gosh and I love that gown. So beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> well how did you go about preparing for the swimsuit competition because obviously oh my goodness you you work very hard and you look incredible so share with us how did you prepare oh my gosh the tips and secrets well um, my trainer was bombshell fitness who was my sponsor through the Miss Nevada pageant she also got me ready for Miss Universe and she gave me meal plans workout plans like how much water I had to drink, how many vitamins I needed, like every single thing. And then I would send her photos once a week and then she would adjust it. So maybe I needed more vegetables or more protein or, or something like that. And so she would adjust it custom fit to me. And I worked before Miss USA, I worked out let's see, like two, about two hours, hour and a half to two hours every single day. I did, I split the time between weights and cardio. So I definitely got a lot of weights and I didn't want to just be skinny. I wanted to be fit and lean and then I ate before Miss USA I ate four to five meals a day and before Miss Universe I ate six meals a day every day to keep my metabolism going really fast so that's my main way to get ready for the bikini pageant you have to have your metabolism going fast work out and keep your body healthy of course I had the sweets in there I can't stay away from sweets but it was just less than normal <laughs> well oh my gosh you looked amazing amazing <laughs> okay now Nia you have to tell us how did you connect with your judges during interview so for Miss USA and Miss Universe and even at the Miss Nevada level I feel like it's really good to know your judges ahead of time so once the the list is out of who is going to be one of your judges I went through and I kinda looked up a little bio on every single judge so if maybe there's a way that you can connect with one or two of them or, or more that you know maybe three, three out of the five love travel well I love travel too so I'm gonna make sure to talk about it um, so definitely just knowing your judges so you can make a point to try to connect with them. Love that tip. I think that's an incredible tip. So very true. Now, true. Yeah, tell us how did you prepare for the on stage question? Can you prepare for the on stage oh question? My goodness gracious, <laughs> tell me about it. Well, I feel like the best way to prepare is to know yourself and know how you feel just on a big broad range of subjects and it's that's like the most important thing you really have to know you and your and your feelings your morals your your goals in life and then when you're answering an on stage question do your best to answer something that you can relate to um, no matter what it is just try to bring it back to you so that's preparing for an on stage question but I also feel like practice practice makes perfect so working with your friends and family just having them throw random questions at you all the time so they kinda catch you off guard because that's what it really is as I'm sure all pageant girls know you are caught off guard sometimes no matter how much you prepare it's something else that you weren't ready for when they ask you that on stage to just be ready for anything 
Isn't that the truth? That's so true. Great advice. Okay, give us your best pageant tip. Oh my gosh. Well, it sounds so like typical. I'm sure everybody says it. Be yourself, have fun. Finally started being successful in pageants is when I was myself and I wasn't trying to be what I thought the judges wanted. I was just me and that's when I was I was more confident and calm and self assured when I was on stage and I feel like that just really shines through. Instead of trying to be like perfect pageant patty because there's going to be a million girls like that. They want to see the real girl. Even one of my judges on stage at Miss USA after I won came up to me and she said, you were the only one that was being real. Everybody else was like, had a pasted on smell and you were, and you know, I'm sure everybody was doing great and having fun, but to me, I connected with her and she felt like I was the only one that was just being myself out there. So I think that's what judges connect with is someone that they feel like is a real person. Um, there was a point where I was standing up on stage and my family had little wands and they were shaking their wands and so I was kind of like shimming on commercial break and she just loved it. She was dying of laughter. So yeah, be you. Obviously not when they're judging you. Don't be shimming on stage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, be yourself. Have fun. I love that. Great advice. So have fun. Be yourself. Be real. Yes. And be prepared. Be real but also have done all the preparation work ahead of to be ready for the job and ready for the competition. Well, wonderful. Nia, thank you so much for joining me today. It is an honor to have you on the show, and congratulations to you on all of your success. Thank you so much, and if you want to talk any other time in the future, let me know. I feel like I could talk to you all day long. Oh, and I could talk to you all day long, too. I would love that. <laughs> and thanks thank to the viewers for tuning in, and for thank your Thank you so much, and for more great interviews like this one, be sure to subscribe to Pageant Planet's YouTube channel. Nia, thank you so much again. Thanks to the viewers for tuning in. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.